All right, Friday, March 25th, here's today's technology news. First up, we have high-efficiency infrared photo detectors using gold nanorods. Toyohashi Tech researchers develop an innovative infrared photo detector exploiting plasmon resonance at the surface of gold nanorods. This technology shows potential as the basis for the development of high-efficiency infrared photo detectors for optical communication systems. So this is probably where most of our gold is going, is to this technology. I'll have all these links and articles typed up in my video description. Okay, next from Kurzweil, here we have... Supercomputer is made from off-the-shelf PlayStation 3 gaming consoles. Computer scientists at the Air Force Research Lab in Rome, New York, have assembled one of the world's largest, fastest, and cheapest supercomputers by linking together 1,716 PlayStation 3s. The supercomputer can scan or process text in any language at 20 pages per second, fill in missing sections it has never seen with 99.9% .9 accuracy, and tell the user whether the information is important. Well, this is kind of interesting. This technology is advancing, like I said. And lastly today we have U.S. satellites successfully tracked ballistic missile from cradle to grave. Don't pay for the flowers. Lasers destroy missiles, missiles shoot down satellites, and soon satellites may tell both where to aim, as the United States has successfully managed to track an entire ballistic missile launch from birth to death with its prototype space tracking and surveillance system. After a year and a half in orbit, two Northrop Grumman-built satellites managed the feat last week in what the company's calling the Holy Grail for Missile Defense. The weaponization of space, people. Not good.